The lynching record for a quarter of a century merits the thoughtful study of the American people. It presents three salient facts. First, lynching is color line murder. Second, crimes against women is the excuse, not the cause. Third, it is a national crime and requires a national remedy. From 1882, in which year 52 persons were lynched, down to the present, lynching has been along the color line. Mob murder increased yearly until in 1892, more than 200 persons were lynched, and statistics show 3,284 men, women, and children have been put to death in this quarter of a century. No other nation, savage or civilized, burns its criminals. Only under the stars and stripes is this human holocaust possible. Why is mob murder permitted by a Christian nation? What is the cause of this awful slaughter? This question is answered almost daily. The same shameless falsehood that Negroes are lynched to protect womanhood. This is the never varying answer of lynchers and their apologists. All know that it is untrue. As a complete and final refutation against the charges that lynchings are occasioned by crimes against women, a partial record of lynchings is cited. 285 persons were lynched for causes as follows. Unknown cause, 92. No cause, 10. Race prejudice, 49. Miscegenation, 7. Informing, 12. Making threats, 11. Keeping saloon, 3. Practicing fraud, 5. Practicing voodooism, 1. Refusing evidence, 2. Political causes, 5. Disputing, 1. Disobeying quarantine regulations, 2. Slapping a child, 1. Turning state's evidence, 3. Protecting a Negro, one, to prevent giving evidence. One, knowledge of larceny. One, writing letter to white woman. One, asking white woman to marry. One, jilting girl. One, having smallpox. One, concealing criminal. Two, threatening political exposure. One, self-defense. Six, cruelty. One, insulting language to woman. Five, quarreling with white man. Two, colonizing Negroes. One, throwing stones. One, quarreling. One. Gambling, one. In 1892, when lynching reached high water mark, 241 persons were lynched. The only certain remedy is an appeal to law. Lawbreakers must be made to know that human life is sacred, that every citizen of this country is first a citizen of the United States and secondly, a citizen to which the state in which he belongs. It would be a beginning in the right direction if this conference could see its way clear to establish a bureau for the investigation and the publication of the details of every lynching. That it will make an effort to secure expressions of opinion across the country against lynching for the sake of this country's fair name. And lastly, but by no means least, that it will try to influence the daily papers to refuse to become accessories to mob violence before or after the fact. Time was when lynching was regional. Now it is national. A blight upon our nation, mocking our laws and disgracing our Christianity. With malice toward none and charity for all, let us undertake the work of making the law of the land supreme upon every foot of American soil, a shield to the innocent and to the guilty, punishment swift and sure. <laughs>